Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon everybody. We hope the best for all the presenter, audiences and committees. Now let us continue our last plenary lecture. The theme is prophetic nutrition and the session is going to be led by our moderator Dr. Farah Ekawati Mulia di MB Yomet. To Dr. Farah Ekawati, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you very much Dr. Murshid. For the third session of plenary lecture with the topic prophetic nutrition will be guided by the moderator Dr. Farah Ekawati Mulyadi M. Biomed with the first speaker Dr. Dr. Ida Royani M. Kes with the title The Health Beneficial of Ajodate Phoenix Ductilifera L. The second speaker is Pro Saud K. Al Jauni M.D. with the title Antimutagensity Potential of Ajwadate Phoenix Taxilifera L. And the church speaker is Prof. Marwa M. L. Sonbati M.D. with the title Vulnerability and Weakness of Eating Habits in Children. And the last session is discussion that will be guided by the moderator. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome, Welcome to, the to the third session of this plenary lecture, lecture, lecture of the, of the International Scientific Meeting on Islamic, Islamic Medical, Medical Science, Science Prophetic, Prophetic Nutrition, and Technologies in Healthcare. I'm Farah Ekawati Mulyadi and I'm going to be the moderator of, of this session. In this session, in this session we, have we have three speakers, speakers who will, will deliver, deliver their presentation about prophetic nutrition. The first speaker is Dr. Dr. Ida Royani M. Kes. Assalamualaikum, Dr. Ida. Can you hear me? Thank you very much uh, for your coming, Doc. Uh, Dr. Ida is uh, the head of EDIC department, and for information, EDIC is Discipline Ilmu Kedokteran. This is a special program in our faculty that applying the Islamic principle in medicine. Dr. Ida is the initiator of the development of prophetic medicine in UMI, and she also commands the initial research of Ajwa in Faculty of Medicine, Universitas Muslim Indonesia. And I'll greet the second speaker, Prof. Soat K. Al Jouni, MD, from Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Assalamualaikum, Prof. Soat. Are you with us now? Assalamualaikum, Prof. Soat. Okay, um, Prof. Soat is our mentor, especially in adult research. She is an academic pediatrician. She already has done a lot of studies in Ajua. And the last speaker is Prof. Marwa from Cairo. Assalamualaikum, Prof. Marwa. I think Prof. Marwa uh, was available since morning. Uh, I worry, I think uh, she, didn't, she didn't hear your voice. Please call her once again, Dr. Farah. Who will present about the health beneficial of Ajuadet Punix Dactylifera L. Dr. Ida, please, you can start your presentation. You have 20 minutes to talk. The floor is yours. Uh, thank you, Dr. Farah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, for the first, I would like to say thank you for uh, everyone uh, who attending to the conference for me. Uh, and I hope uh, for everyone too, this uh, topic is a very important topic for us, especially for uh, us in uh, faculty uh, medicine uh, in uh, Universitas Muslim Indonesia, uh, which um, Islam uh, discipline uh, med uh, medical uh, Islamic or uh, Islamic medicine is uh, our uh, main uh, vision in academic vision, and then. Right now, uh, I would like to present uh, my concern about uh, Ajua date. Let me uh, search in. Yeah. 
is my slide. Yes, Doc, we can see it. Clearly. Yes, you can see my. Maybe yes. you can do. Okay, sorry, pardon, pardon, Dr. Farah. Yes, it's, we can see it clearly, Doc. Yeah, okay. Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirrahmanirrahim. Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'd. Rabbi israh li sadri wa yassir li amri. Wahlul uqdatan min lisani yaftahu qawli. My topic is the health benefits of uh, Achwadeid uh, or uh, Pondix uh, Dactylifera. And... Uh, traditional Islamic medicine is the term used to represent the medical tradition that thrived during the golden age of Islam. In fact, medieval Islamic society tolerated a rich combination of cultural and religious custom with diverse input from many languages and many regions. And the integration of the existing medical system provide the scholars with a great opportunity to develop a scientific foundation in the context of the Holy Quran and, uh, and Hadith. Despite the fact the pharmacological information is not detailed in either the Holy Quran or the Al Hadith, but the teaching by the Prophet Muhammad wasallam was directly in favor of searching for novel cures in nature and applying uh, and spreading those treatments through the work of skilled scholars uh, according to the Muslims, Holy Quran and Al Hadith. And uh, dating back to the 7th century of, uh, AD, one of the Prophet Muhammad's uh, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam recommendation was to use medical plan and uh, Allah His Majesty mentioned in Holy Quran many plans such as union, garlic, date palm itself, squash, fig, banana, olive, lentils, barley, uh, pomegranate, toothbrush tree, grapes, ginger, black mustard, uh, bitter apple, cucumber, Camel thorn, clover, sweet basil, and camphor, tree wheat, low tree, and tamarisk, and uh, in different surahs, surah, um, and and this are many surah in Holy Quran mentioning uh, dates, and we can see uh, many surah in Quran mentioned it. Uh, such as uh, Al An'am chapter six verse no uh, verse nineteen nine and one hundred and forty one uh, Arat chapter twelve uh, ten uh, thirteen uh, verse uh, number four uh, An Nahal uh, Al Isra Maryam uh, Toha Yasin Ar Rahman Al Hakkah and Abasa chapter eighty verse uh, number 29 and one of uh, popular plane uh, of dates is uh, adjudit uh, become famous plane mentioned especially by prophet muhammad uh, sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his hadith sahih and then there are many hadiths on rasulullah muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned uh, about ajwa Currently, uh, I myself found 51 hadiths consisting of uh, hadith sahih, hasan, and do'if hadith, and narrated by uh, Buhari, Imam Buhari, seven hadiths, uh, Imam Muslim, uh, two hadith sahih, uh, Tirmisi, one hadith sahih, Abu Daud, uh, two hadith, uh, Ibn Majah, three hadiths, uh, Ad-Darimi, one hadith, Ahmad, uh, 34 hadiths, uh, Ibn Huzaimah, one hadith, and uh, this, these are the famous hadiths about Ajwadid. Hadith narrated by Sa'ad bin Abi Waqqas, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man tasabbaha bis, uh, bisaba'i tamaratin ajwa lam yadurruhu dalikal yawm summun wala sihrun. One who takes seven Ajwadid in the morning, he remains under the pro protection of Allah from magic and poison for full day narrated by Bukhari and Muslim. And uh, the other hadith uh, by narrated by Ibn Majah, 
diajwa Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say the diajwa that come from paradise and contain a cure for poison. And the other hadith uh, by Aisha radhiyallahu anha, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that indeed ajwa deeds of Alia in Medina Highlands nearby Nijat contain an antidote or it is an antidote and it is an antidote if consumed in the morning. And Imam Ibn Qayyim commented on the hadiths, what is meant by ajwa date is the ajwa al Madinah date, one of the type of, uh, type of uh, dates in the city known as the best hijaz, uh, hijaz dates of all kinds. And the shape is very good, dense, a bit hard and strong, but it includes the most delicious, most frequent and most standard dates. And yes, uh, Ajo date uh, in uh, the Latin name is uh, Phonix uh, dactylifera L. This is the classification and chemical structure on ajo date. And um, the ajo date is uh, the most popular and, and expensive fruits that belong only to the holy city of Al Madinah Al Munawara, as I mentioned before, and it's a joining area in Saudi uh, Arabia. And the uh, the species is Phonic dactylifera, and the the uh, and ajodate, uh, chemical compounds of uh, ajodate consists of a carbohydrate and all out of the uh, all out of, of uh, phytochemical compounds and the the, the excellent of uh, phytochemical uh, profile place ajuadid at top among uh, other dead uh, varieties varietas and this one uh, slide is uh, showing uh, you a nutritional compound in uh, ajuadid uh, Ajodet consists complete nutrition, both macro and micronutrition. And the slide presents that it's a carbohydrate, uh, carbohydrate with a very low uh, glycemic uh, index and contain eight of nine essential amino acids. Uh, so we can see it's uh, nearly complete. And uh, it also has other elements such as macro and micro mineral vitamin and that important for many function in our uh, body uh, metabolic system and one of the most prominent of ajudate uh, compared to the other dates is the uh, the high level phytochemical like phenolic uh, sero carotenoid uh, anthocyanin uh, procyanin and flavonoid and from uh, from my previous uh, previous uh, explanation, the complete uh, content of uh, ajuadate is uh, possible to give many benefits for our health, such as um, improve uh, immune system and free radicals scavenging, gastrointestinal protective effect, antioxidant activity, anti-inflammation activity, hemopathic activity, nephroprotective effect anti-inflammatory and anti-proliferative activity, anti-cancer and anti-mutagenesis activity, anti-diabetic activity, anti-diral activity, uh, gonadotropic effect, and uh, nephroprotective effect. There are many work about uh, the uh, biological and pharmacological activities of ajudid. And then uh, I'm showing you uh, the example of search engine result on Ajudit and this uh, from Gail one file. There are um, 67 academic journal about uh, with uh, the key uh, the keyword Ajudit and you can see and the other uh, engine. This is uh, the DMG. Um, currently, I find a uh, tenth uh, journal, representative journal uh, about uh, Ajua death. And the, uh, this slide uh, showing you about uh, many research of Ajua death, uh, and you, all of you, can uh, find uh, 
them in the journal engine that I mentioned before. Uh, uh, and the accident effect of adjudicate, uh, adjudicate contains strong accident, then as uh, then uh, ascorbate acid and the extract of antioxidant activity of adjudicate palm and uh, etc. And the last one, I would like I'm presenting you our research work in uh, about adjudicate in UMI, and currently there are uh, certain studies. Mm, uh, uh, finish a uh, complete about uh, I joined it uh, in uh, 2019. Um, the topic research of our work in I joined is uh, about uh, the effect of I joined consumption to inhibit the progression of preeclampsy, and then the effect of I joined consumption of antepartum and postpartum hemoglobin level of pregnant women. Effect of adjudicate consumption on, on hemoglobin level, very thin and nutritional status of pregnant women, and the effect of adjudicate supplementation on amniotic fluid index of third trimester pregnant women, and then the effect of adjudicate supplementation uh, on the biological profile of the fetus in the third trimester pregnant women, and uh, effect of uh, consumption of adjudicate on lipid profile. Level, levels of pregnant women at risk of preeclampsy in the active phase and postpartum phase, and then the effect of adjudicate extract uh, on gut uh, microbiota of uh, spregu daily rats induced by a high fat diet, diet uh, and uh, yeah, diet, sorry, uh, type. The effect of adjudicate uh, consumption to anti mullerian hormone uh, level of uh, perimenopausal women and the effect of adjudicate consumption to fasting plasma glucose level of perimenopausal women and then the effect of adjudicate consumption to neutrophil lymphocyte ratio level of, of perimenopausal women and then the effect of adjudicate consumption to hemoglobin level of perimenopausal women and then the effect adjua of adjudicate consumption to calcium level of perimenopausal women and the last one is uh, the effect of adjudicate consumption on uh, perinatal outcome of pregnant women with the treat preeclampsy uh, the analysis of soluble form like tyrosine kinase and uh, yes the uh, uh, by levels in mother uh, in levels in mother and neonatus uh, with uh, umbilical cord blood and then that's all uh, my uh, my short presentation and uh, I I was I really hope that uh, can uh, uh, give uh, value insight uh, for uh, for everyone uh, here and uh, i really really hope the the, the work about uh, adjudicate uh, adjudicate research uh, uh, must uh, go uh, and uh, running well and um, and can uh, could be uh, uh, could become uh, one uh, sumbangan <laughs> went uh, most important thing from uh, faculty medicine of yeah Universitas Muslim Indonesia. Thank you uh, for your attention uh, and uh, I beg to uh, moderator. Thank you, Dr. Para. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yes, yeah yes. and yeah I hope uh, Prof Soat and Prof Marwa uh, already available and. Uh, so that uh, 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 they uh, are uh, my my mentor in Ajuadit's uh, work, and uh, I think if uh, anyone to question about uh, the Ajuadit, uh, uh, will uh, explain and will answer by Prof Soat and uh, Dr Marwatu. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.
Prof. Mawa, uh, we're going to yeah. deliver the topic about a vulnerability and weakness of eating habits in children. So I'll invite Prof. Marwa to present her presentation. Prof. Marwa? Hope it, uh, hoping you are fine. <laughs> Hi. I, I will turn my phone. Yes, I we will can hear. We can hear. Prof. You, I will no. give the presentation or Professor Saad the Gauni first. Maybe you can first. Okay, because okay. I'm in trouble with a Prof. Saad. Okay, inshallah. Yeah. Yeah. Please, uh, the time is yours. But you only have 20 minutes to talk. I'll remind you in last three minutes before we're moving to the next speakers. Uh, can you see the screen? Yes. Oh, no, no. We not yet. We don't see your presentation. Okay, we can see your uh, PowerPoint now. You can start it. Uh, okay, please. inshallah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. You need to say this presentation, give me this opportunity. Uh, my presentation today is about vulnerability and weakness of eating habits of children. Uh, countries, especially in Egypt, they represent about 52% uh, of the Egyptian population are from children and youth. So it is a very big sector. And also eating habits and any changes happening in childhood will be tracked into, will be likely to be tracked into adulthood. And also it is easily to be modified, to modify the eating habits and the nutritional behavior of children than adults. So it is very important. Unhealthy uh, behavior, dietary behavior may lead to undernourishment or obesity. Uh, child malnutrition can lead to infinite cycle of malnutrition throughout the cycle of the child later on his life. This might create considerable risks for future mothers. This is especially true looking at stunting, wasting, and micronutrient deficiencies. Overcoming undernutrition in all its form is linked to sustainable development goal one, which is no poverty, and sustainable development goal two, which is zero hunger. We do uh, three national uh, projects. Can you hear me? Uh, we do three national projects all over Egypt, uh, examining malnutrition in uh, different forms in children. The first one, um, and we published this in papers, the first one is stunting and its determinants among governmental primary school children in Egypt a school-based cross-sectional study. The study was a cross-sectional conducted in three governments representing different geographical regions in Egypt with different nutritional habits that were selected randomly. We represent the three regions of Egypt, one representing Lower Egypt, we took the Hera governor, and the other representing coastal region, the Maida governor, and the other representing Upper Egypt, Fayum governor. Is the breakfast, skipping uh, breakfast or not, taking school meal or not, uh, number of meals per day, uh, either taking breakfast with morning snack, is there midday snack, uh, number of meals, did they took snack before uh, sleep, uh, did they took uh, meals on time, uh, the impact of daily and weekly share of stomach and intact or intake of nutrient rich food versus energy dense food. Our results uh, prove that uh, many nutritional factors associated with stunting, as skipping breakfast, not having meal on times, 
and having less than three meals per day, uh, scarcity in nutritive food such as eggs and dairy products, increased intake of soft drinks, and um, can lead to stunting. And also, there are many uh, enabling uh, social factors for stunting as mother education and family income. However, all these factors can be modified by health awareness. The other researches, uh, researches about vulnerability and weakness of eating habits of overweight school children as an entry risk for COVID-19. And this study include 1,600 child uh, from 6 to 12 years. Overweight children, uh, our uh, study proved that overweight children eat narrow diversity of nutrient rich food. That includes the vegetables, fruits, proteins, dairy products, and they eat more calorie dense food every day. The increase of family income increased the likelihood of having overweight children with a high intake of sugary, uh, sugary um, drinks and chips, consumption of snacks between meals and before sleep. They also consume uh, many snacks. Protective predictor, predictors against overweight were highly educated mothers taking breakfast before school, having dinner, and taking meals on time. It is also critical to start feeding programs too early with more focus on the promo promotion of breastfeeding due to its marvelous effect on not only the physical growth and health, but also on child cognitive development. There is a strong relationship between the health and the immune system. Um, we all know during COVID there is a lockdown. Lockdown uh, leads to decreased physical exercise, and this makes a state of inflammation and uh, low immunity. Disrupted eating schedule and snacking decreased T cell function and increase in pro inflammatory cytokines. Diet high in saturated fat delay make delay immune response and increase inflammation. Diet uh, high in sugars reduced activity on neutrophils and phagocytosis. Low mineral and vitamin intake lead to reduction in T cell and promotion of inflammation. Change in gut microbiota lead to leaky gut, which lead to reduction in B and T cell and lead to inflammation. The opposite can be changed and we can strengthen our immune system by good dietary behavior. So when we increase exercise and do exercise, it can reduce the state of inflammation. Regular eating schedule increase the function of T cell and decrease in pro-inflammatory cytokines. Diet high in short chain fatty acids and the balance between omega-3 and omega-6 lead to promotion of immune response and decrease inflammation. Diet low in sugar, increase activity of neutrophils and phagocytosis. Diet high in minerals and vitamin intake, increase the function of T cells and protect against inflammation. Healthy gut microbiota uh, lead to increase the function of B and T cells and decrease the state of inflammation. Effect of good dietary habits on immune system. We said before that uh, good dietary habits as eating vegetables and fruit make diet more rich in vitamins and minerals. It's very important for the innate immunity and the adaptive immunity. Not also that, but it make a stabilization of like a balance between the immune system. Yeah, make a balance between inflammation and uh, to stop inflammation at the right time. We have another um, project about impact of national Egyptian school feeding program on growth development and school achievement of school children. This uh, project was a quasi experimental study. The intervention group included 903 pupils in fifth grade receiving school meal while the control group included 186 pupils matched for age and sex without meal. The meal consisted of a fortified pie. It is the, the flour 
we used in the snack was fortified with vitamins and minerals. And the pie also contain dead fruit to make it more nutritional and to give it a sweet taste. We took socioeconomic position, nutritional status, we dietary behavior were evaluated, neuropsychological tests were done. We do many neuropsychological tests as auditory visual and tests, which measure the attention of children, figural memory tests. Uh, which measure the attention and short memory. We do part of WISC, which is Wexler Intelligence Scale of Children. We did um, coding, which uh, measure uh, speed of information processing and visual motor coordination of children. And also we do digit span test, which measure working memory. We also measure uh, the psychosocial behavior was really rated by pediatric symptom checklist and educational achievement was recorded. Results uh, showed that children who took the meal had better scores on visual memory, auditory vigilance tests, the afternoon attention and working memory tests, and they have less score of externalizing behavior, which is very good, than the controlled children. No significant changes of children nutritional status were detected between the two groups. School meal was, was the main predictor of visual memory and auditory vigilance test, and was the strongest predictor of academic achievement when combined with family size and meal frequency. Um, and uh, this project uh, done all over Egypt. We have an ancient Egyptian proverb uh, tell us about one quarter of what we eat keeps you alive, the other three quarters keep you alive. So watch what you are eating. We have a running project now about evaluating dates as a functional food for autism via its prebiotic effects modulation of anti-inflammatory and antioxidant activity. And uh, the preliminary results put really the antioxidants, uh, super oxidative and glutas is very much in uh, and the malondehyde, which is oxidant trees, which have a very good effect on their um, yani communication skills, uh, cars, and the adaptive score uh, improved so much. So that is a life journey. Let that fruit accompany us through our life journey exception to El. Also, have a project about assessment of epigenetic changes and improvement in children. Epigenetic changes can be measured by DNA methylation, histone modification, and microRNA. So, our food by nutrigenomics can change our DNA by epigenetics, can make the gene on or off. So change your genes, change your life. You can change your diet, then change your genes and change your life. And this effect can be transgenerational. Uh, the mother can give this change to her children and then to their children give to their children and so on. So watch your food. Also date fruit is proved to increase the hemoglobin level in teenagers by Ajwa date. Teenagers and adolescents is a window to change the dietary habits and also to, um, for mothers, for the future mothers. We want also to stress on the hidden hunger. Hidden hunger is the deficiency of micronutrients. Millions of people around the world complaining of the hidden hunger. So this is, as uh, my colleague uh, Ida said, Dr. Ida said that this is full of nutrients. 
full of minerals, full of vitamins, polyphenols, and flavonoids. And this is very important for our children and adolescents, and also for university students, as uh, Professor Omar Kasul and Dr. Nasr and uh, Dr. Titi uh, was discussing the curriculum and the importance of it, integration of Islamic curriculum and the how to. So it's very important also to watch how the yani, how what they eat. And I think our project about school children can be applied about, uh, in um, university students. If they uh, have good dietary behavior, they can concentrate and they can give more and can, give, uh, can have a good academic achievement. So search which is the deficient element in your body. You can solve many problems. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Baytun la tamra fi idiyaun ahlu So, uh, and as Ida yani, narrated many prophetic um, hadith uh, It's very important because it is full of many nutritive substances Also don't forget habbat al-baraka and honey We have two booklets uh, about the benefit of ajwa date and uh, date in general uh, this is the link of the two booklets. And we want better life for our children, our future things. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, yes. I can. Uh, your, your slide is playing. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Can you hear the presentation? I can't hear you, but uh, your, your screen is playing now, right now. Uh, sorry, Prof. Marwa, uh, we got some problem here. Um, maybe you can continue your presentation. Okay. Um, thank you very much, uh, Prof. Marwa. Uh, what a nice presentation. And next, we move to the last speaker, Prof. Soat. Uh, Prof. Soat will present about the uh, anti mutagenicity potential of Ajuadet Punix Dactylifera. Prof. Soat, can you hear my voice? Okay. Uh, maybe you can start your presentation. You have 20 minutes uh, to talk. And I'll remind you in the last three minutes. And now you can start it. Uh, time is yours.
Um, sorry, we do apologize for this uh, problem. Uh, there is some trouble in our audio. Uh, uh, thank you, Prof. Your voice is clearly here now. Uh, you will start your presentation. Time okay. is yours. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you for inviting me to speak in an important conference, International Conference of Islamic Medical Science prophetic nutritional and technologist in uh, uh, technology in healthcare. Uh, I would like to thank the organizing committee uh, uh, to be uh, for inviting me and especially Dr. Aida. Today I will talk about an important uh, research in anti-mugenicity of potential of Ajwa date, Phoenix dactylifera. Uh, my outlines and objective of the talk, what the definition of mutagenicity? Usually mutag uh, uh, mutagenicity refers to an in, uh, induction of permanent changes in DNA sequence of an organism. The genome of all living organisms are constantly subjected to damage by external agent and endogenous process, which can cause spontaneous DNA damage. So today uh, we'll talk about the biological and uh, medicinal activity of Ajwa. Uh, their therapeutic uh, nutritional, it's really uh, uh, very important and have a lot of benefit in uh, therapeutic and preventive of uh, uh, a lot of diseases. I would like you to share with you uh, this paper. It's a reference for anti-mugenicity of Ajwa and really will tell you all the references and the studies about uh, biological and uh, medicinal uh, property of Ajwa and even bound dates. If we see in the PubMed, it's more than 1,000 research uh, about uh, bound dates, Phoenix dactylifera. This is my disclosure. Uh, 
uh, about the nutritional and therapeutic preventive of ajwa proven by scientific research it's one of the best food and have a, a good nutritional value have antimicrobial effect anti-inflammatory it prevents cell damage in cancer and this is about uh, another protection of uh, uh, DNA changes, uh, antioxidant and tissue protections. We'll not go through the nutritional benefit of ajwa, which is really important and uh, really would like to know. So everybody will start uh, their days with any kind of palm dates. There is an interesting study started in 1999 about antioxidant in cancer therapy, its action and interaction with uh, oncological therapy. And what they said, uh, uh, like you cannot give, uh, it's a mice study, and they said uh, antioxidant nutritional can interfere with the chemotherapy. So should, uh, from that time, should antioxidant be used in, in cancer therapy? Another two study uh, by uh, NIH uh, reported also in mice, like antioxidant nutritional can accelerate the growth of cancer and do more metastasis. Is this true or not? Will, uh, a lot of study can prove the opposite of this mice study. The first study, it's a clinical uh, uh, follow-up of our patient over more than 10 years. And this is study to see the effect of phenyxactylifera on infection will not go to infection, but will go uh, about anti-cancer, anti, uh, uh, anti-cancer and the survival and uh, mutagenicity. If, uh, if we add uh, a palm date uh, like Ajwa, uh, have an excellent role, will not increase the disease uh, and the growth of the cancer and metastasis. And usually all the clinical trials were presented as international meetings. The objective of our study to see the safety because uh, of that report to, to see the primary safety outcome to add uh, phenyxactylifera as antioxidant antimutagenic to pediatric cancer patient and the primary efficacy outcome and the microbial will not talk about it the hospitalizations and the complications and the mortality it's a prospective cohort study and uh, uh, we screen more than uh, 2000. And until now uh, we follow our patient more than 10 years. So the uh, primary efficacy outcome and the safety outcome of using antioxidant like Ajwa in the, um, in the pediatric uh, oncology world. This is the diagram. Uh, how we analyzed our uh, study. This is our hospital. This is inclusion and exclusion criteria. What we found markedly decreased Ajwa, uh, 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 decreased the infections and hospitalization was statistically significant. Also uh, decreased the prolonged admissions and even the outcome it's much better. This is just to show, follow up our patient. Also, Ajwa have excellent uh, protection and treating cardiac uh, patient who had a cardiac toxicity or they can having cardiac disease. This is Kaplan-Meier survival curve. So Ajwa does not affect or increase the cancer and metastasis in pediatric cancer. So all in Ajwa until now survival more than 10 years. Who is not in Ajwa, they have uh, some of them, 13 patient has been diseased. So our conclusions, we said uh, Ajwa, it's an uh, excellent nutritional with decreased infections, hospitalization among pediatric and improve the outcome. Ajwa uh, have some sort of cardiac and treatment prote of cardiac protections. Antioxidant content of Ajwa did not have any effect on the tumor growth. 
and this is very important now since that time we use it as a supportive care in all as integrative approach and supportive care in our pediatric cancer patient this is very important also paper to show the nano formulated ajwa and the active uh, compound improve the safety of digoxin. As you know, digoxin is one of the chemotherapy important in, uh, in our pediatric cancer patient, even in uh, adult cancer. So here the questions was, uh, if uh, 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 this ajwa can be safe as anti-cancer, uh, and also uh, protective of uh, the joxin um, side effect. If we see, uh, this is all the result for anybody interested. Even what shows, even the induced uh, cardiac toxicity, this is the histological of the heart. The group of Ajwa, they have reverse uh, histological changes in the heart. So Ajwa uh, protect and treat uh, cardiac toxicity of chemotherapy and antioxidant of the Ajwa will not increase the uh, uh, like the cancer in this study so our conclusion uh, bioactive protect against disease complication weight loss induced by digoxin chemotherapy and did not interfere with digoxin anti-cancer so the the two study which is i mentioned before uh, supported by clinical trial and by uh, 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 like nano formulation uh, of ajwa and also have anti mucinic potential and this is the paper it's really presented nicely if you can read it uh, uh, so can add more information for the researcher so uh, there is evidence uh, uh, that uh, can reverse cardiac marker troponin and cardiac tissue injury based on histological uh, assessment this is another uh, uh, patent us patent shows ajwa nano formulation can protect ischemic heart disease this is another patent about uh, ajwa uh, nano formulation uh, can uh, treating ischemic heart disease it's the same okay this is another uh, research to show how the importance of ajwa uh, using nanotechnology to protect the heart and this is all the study anybody interested in 19 uh, uh, in 2016 another nanotechnology paper prevent and treat of various dis uh, disorders this is an important uh, uh, um, about uh, uh, the important of this research to shows how uh, ajwa as a food protect and have excellent role in uh, in prevention cell uh, uh, and they have the property of antioxidant anti-cancer effective in protection of liver protection of kidneys protection of neurological system uh, anti-inflammatory protection of the heart so uh, like this is a good nutritional and have excellent protection especially for uh, what we said mutagenicity uh, in this uh, external or internal damage. Another study shows a novel finding a future direction for food and drug discovery. The same, all the studies shows the benefit of uh, uh, biological and uh, uh, um, med uh, uh, medicinal uh, uh, activity of the ajwa and even the palm date this is a study even shows like uh, how the active form of uh, bioactivity of uh, the phenyxtactylifera how can it prevent the cell damage and this is what we call mutagenicity and anti uh, uh, antioxidant because really very important because as you know we said the definition of mutagenicity is damage external and internal uh, process uh, for the dna and this can lead to uh, 
cancer and aging bleeding diseases. So the things, uh, and all this research has been proven clinical and uh, advanced technology to show the benefit of Ajwa as a cancer therapeutic and beyond and prevention of cell damage. Even the seed of Ajwa, if, if you read this paper, you will find uh, Ajwa fruit and the seed have an excellent uh, protection uh, of the tissue uh, and uh, all the organ of the human being. All this, uh, uh, how, how nutritional important, how the minerals, how the vitamins, uh, like uh, with the era of, uh, with the era of uh, uh, COVID-19, uh, they try to take a lot of artificial vitamin C. And Ajwa have an excellent uh, good vitamins, especially vitamin C and other vitamins and B. So this is another paper. There is a lot of paper uh, proving the anti-mugenicity, anti-cancer, and the prevention of cell damage. So really, uh, uh, we encourage uh, the integrative th uh, therapy approach with antioxidant, anti potential of a fruit, especially palm dates, and the safety for even the treatment of cancer patient and all the clinical trials induced by uh, shows that have a better outcome and decrease the disease complication and improve the survival. So uh, our questions now, uh, do you encourage medical oncologists for integrative therapy to use phenyx ductilifera as supportive care to improve the disease outcome? I would like to thank you uh, to give me the opportunity to share with you very important uh, uh, research and
Surya, may you open mic and tell us your question. Hello, Assalamualaikum, Surya. Surya? Yes, uh, we can hear you. Yes, you can uh, ask your question. Questions I didn't hear. Yes, yes, what the question? What's the question? Okay, uh, I repeat my question. Uh, one of your study is to reveal the benefit of ajuadets in uh, children 
with a, a can serve in um, maybe you can tell us about how to give uh, them uh, to give the children to eat the dates because uh, I think maybe not every children like the dates. Maybe you can tell us how the methodology of your study. Thank you. Okay, uh, like in the morning, uh, we, uh, like it depends on the age of the child. If it is uh, uh, like um, elderly child, we start to give one date in the morning with a breakfast after washing. And if he's tolerated, uh, we give it uh, as a three uh, ajwa in the morning with a breakfast, not uh, without a breakfast. And uh, for a new net, uh, we give it like uh, uh, like as a beauty uh, uh, and uh, we add increase the amount uh, until the child tolerated and there is no um, like allergy from it and usually uh, who refuse to take it we try uh, to make it like um, uh, uh, make it like in a simple way with a food or with a fruits or with a cereal. So the things it's depend until at least he can take three uh, per day. Clear? Uh, yes, it's uh, very clear. I think from uh, Prof. So up. Uh, maybe it's the end of uh, the question and answer session. Um, in Zoom meeting, I see there's a uh, Prof. Sharifuddin Wahid. Assalamualaikum, Prof. So, uh, Doctor, uh, sorry, I can go. Pardon? Can you repeat, uh, Prof. So, I... yeah, can uh, can I go, or you? I have more questions. Oh, um, I think that's all for the session. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. You I much, appreciate. Uh, and thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you very much, uh, Prof. So I... Okay. Uh, exactly. We have to listen for all invited speakers today. Finally, we've come to the end of our plenary session. I'd like to express our greatly gratitude for our honorable speakers' participation today and participants attending this session. We do apologize for any mistakes. We hope you got much lesser from this lecture. I close this session by saying hamdalah, alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I hope Alaykum it, salam. I hand over to the MC, Dr. Murshid. So, uh, this is the end of plenary lectures. We deliver our big gratitude to all of the speakers and moderators. Uh, next, we invite you to join a free paper session. So, the session is going to, the, to be divided by into 12 rooms. All participants are free to join at any room. And the link for each room is shared in the chat room. Thank you very much.